Welcome back to Tom's Artifice. Papal. Ooh, getting ready for the GIE. Ooh. And thank you, Johnny Reagan. I'm going to take care of you, brother. Ooh. Man, been a lot going on lately. Today, or actually late tonight. Papal. You know, I thought I might shoot a little video of doing this. Shoot a little video of doing this. This is a part of the the dumpster y'all have never seen before. This is where the magic happens. Yeah. How to prepare for the most busiest airport in the world. Whew. Horseville Jackson Atlanta Airport. Oof. I haven't had the pleasure in a little while of flying out of there, but I got an Uber picking me up Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. But tonight, Monday night, boy, this lighting looks kind of weird on this camera, don't it? But tonight, we are packing. I'm going to show you how I like to pack for the Atlanta airport. You know, flying out of the Atlanta airport... What is the biggest shopping mall you've ever been to? Do you have a big old shopping mall near you? Do you have a super Walmart? Well, once you get to the to the Atlanta airport, get checked in, get your boarding pass, get through security. That's the thing. That's the thing. You know, it's like going to the biggest shopping mall you've ever been to you know you got to get to your terminal find your gate and then you can relax you know get there early man they got restaurants and they got things to do explore they got the greatest artwork in the world it's a destination all in itself i'm just gonna next time i go on vacation i'm gonna take an uber to the Latin airport for two days and just stay there <laughs> but seriously but when you fly out, like going to Philadelphia or New Orleans or Austin, Texas or wherever you go, like places I've been, when you get off that plane, go through the tunnel, get off in your gate at that next city, it's like walking out of a 7-Eleven. I mean, really, 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 really. I'd fly a whole lot more and go different places, man, if I didn't have to deal with that airport, the security Oh, I hate going through security in such a busy, busy airport. You know, it's almost worth it to me to drive two hours west and see Jungle Bob and fly in and out of Birmingham. I can drag him with me places. Whew. Let me show you my list. Show you my list. And yes, I'm watching a boy george video make fun of me he's got the best music i've ever heard in my life i love boy george anyway all right here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna wear just you know you, you have to dress so lightly you have to pack you know this is only going to be a 48 hour trip so the key is to get through security as quick as you can don't hold people up last time i flew was to new orleans I had a lady behind me screaming at me. Another passenger, she screamed at me. I said, dang, they just opened security. It's early in the morning. Why are you screaming at people already? Relax. Oh. So I am going to wear on the trip. Let me just show you my little, this is just my video on how I like to air travel. Okay, a cold front just come through. It's late October like it always does. Every time I travel, a cold front comes through. Happens every year. You go from hot to cold, just like that. So t-shirt, over sweater, sweatpants. Of course, you got to wear your undies. No belts. Not complicated shoes you got to slip them things off you got to throw them in the gray bins go through the conveyor belt it's got to go through the sensor you got to put all your stuff in there and most important 
when I mentioned shoes. Something you can slip on, slip off. When you get through the conveyor belts and the x-ray machines, get yourself out of the way. Get out of the way. Get over in a corner with your little bin full of all your stuff, like you're homeless or something. Oh, this is all I got. This is every of all my worldly possessions. Get out of the way. Get away. Then you can go through your stuff and repack and put your shoes back on and stuff like that. Don't get in people's way. My God, I've gotten, like I said, I've gotten screamed at by some lady behind me. Less than nine seconds of them opening the security gate. As soon as they, boom, skirt is open. Okay, let's get in here. Okay, everybody find your line. What are you doing? How are you getting heck it? I'm look, look, lady, I'm right here. Go around. Go around. Find another line. And that's why I, I don't mind driving sometimes. But mentioning shoes, something you can slip on and slip off. If you wear a belt, don't wear a belt. Pack it away in your carry-on or, well, actually, you can't. You got to put it in your uh, check baggage. But you've got to have black socks, man. Mother got me these for my birthday. Papal. Let me explain to you why. Hundreds of thousands of people go through the Atlanta airport every day. The airport is open from 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning till like midnight. That floor is nasty. Do not wear white socks through the airport. Wear black socks. Even though you're going six or eight feet, don't dang do it. Don't do it. And being a light packer, I'm, what I'm going to wear to the airport is sweatpants, my New Balance shoes, New Balance, good on my feet, uh, my grasshopper shirt, because it says Louisville 22. I'm doing that on purpose, going through security, because I want the TSA to realize, hey, I'm going to Louisville again in October pal don't give them any reason to uh look at you if you're going through tsa atlanta you're on a particular flight they see your boarding pass they see your ticket oh you're going to louisville again okay i see your shirt okay you went last year year before year before okay you're good to get through black socks gray sweater gray sweater sweatpants i'm taking two pair for 48 hours in Louisville, that's fine. Try, uh, pack lately. Three pair of socks. Got my extra sweatpants, two t-shirts, man. I got, I'm not even going to take a coat because I'm going to be inside. I have no desire. I'm not going with anybody that wants to demo a bunch of stuff. So we're going to be inside the whole time. I am taking my bargain. I got to find my bargain. I haven't found my bargain yet, but it, it get cold. And I'm not going to read you that, but uh, my grow go my my grow pour and the handle I'm holding it with. Uh, my battery pack. I've got an extra. The thing about the airport. Okay, let me. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you what I'm taking. Shame me if you want to. I'm taking three packs of cigarettes and three cans of snuff. But when you do that. It can't be in carry-on, and of course, it can't be on your check luggage. It has to be in your pocket. And the reason I say that is because the extra battery pack, the lithium batteries you take for your GoPros, like this one here and that one there, and the head shaver I'm taking, and my cell phone, all this stuff. Got to have extra batteries, and you got... Uh, it has to be in the case, and it has to be kept on your person during flight, because the flight crew has ways of tending to lithium battery fires. When these things catch on fire, and you've heard stories, look on YouTube, it's called a runaway. We witnessed that at GIE of 22 when that DeWalt zero-turn lithium battery-powered lawnmower caught on fire it ran away you could not put it out 
But the flat crew has got a way of containing these fires. See, this right here is a GoPro, GoPro batteries. I got three of them. It has to be in the case, has to be on your person. It can't be in carry-on overhead luggage. Can't be in check bags in the cargo hold. You have to keep this with you. This is fun. This is my preparing for Louisville video. Yeah. All right, what else can we talk about? I'm not taking any liquids. There's a 3-1-1 rule. Everything you take liquid, even mascara, you know, when I when I carry mascara, <laughs> that's counted as liquid. Uh, deodorant, everything's counted as liquid. You can't have more than like 3.4 ounce jar of a liquid. See, even my deodorant, I'm not taking anything like this. See, that's, that's three ounces. But to get through security, and there's Maul back there making the boffy. Got to make the boffy. Anyway, uh, to skim through faster when you go through security, you have to unload your pockets. You know, your your cell phone, the GoPro camera with the handle, the, the battery pack, uh, your head shaver, uh, whatever you're going to keep on your person really has to be in a separate bin. Liquids has to be in a separate bin. Any kind of liquids, I'm not even going to get into medicine, but liquids, 3.4 ounces in a one quart container, sealed Ziploc, whatever. And you can only have one. That's the three one one rule. And just a little PSA there. All right, GoPro handle, battery pack, phone and cord. See, I got this my phone charger. I guess you call it a USB C. USB C. This this area plugs into the wall. That will charge my head shaver, that will charge my phone, my GoPro, it'll charge the battery pack, it'll charge everything I'm taking. But yet, yeah, the main thing is, the main thing is, your carry-on. If you're like me, you like to pack light. I'll wait till I get there. Every hotel, you go down there and they got a little section where you can buy ice cream, little snacks, and little toothpaste, and you can buy deodorant, and you can buy little things of shampoo. I, I carry no liquids, man. I get to the hotel and I buy this stuff there. You zoom through security so much faster, so much faster. The less you take, the faster you can get through there. You don't want these people behind you screaming because you're holding up the, like I said, I've been screamed at a lot, a lot. So what you got to have, what the, uh, well, I think, I, I guess European countries and United States, I guess they're all, they're all the same really. But you know, the individual airlines is what kind of differentiates. But the law is the law. UK, you're uh, American, you're carry on. If you don't have a check bag, which I never carry a check bag, I travel lightly, a check bag, cannot be any bigger than nine inches by 14 inches by 22 and this is slightly smaller that this is the bag i've used for many many years god since the 90s i guess <coughs> got a lot of miles on that bag right there uh so i can and 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 the less you put in the more you can squish it the last time i went to fly I was coming back from New Orleans when they board I happened to be the last one they called there was nowhere to put my bag I had to check it yeah I was mad but so what I do is I never ever put anything in that bag I'm not willing to just forget about if they lose that bag going to Louisville I could take a stop in Walmart and replace everything I lost for 50 bucks, 60, 75, $100. You know, stuff like this, my GoPro, my cell phone, 
you know, I'll, I'll put that in my pocket after I get, get through security and you kind of put your shoes back on and stuff like that. That's what I'll do. That's what I, that's what I do. But I will not put anything. I won't check a bag. I've checked bags before. I've always been lucky, never lost luggage or anything, but man, I've heard a lot of horror stories. Oh, uh, let's see. The last thing I got to do is finish fitting everything in that bag over there. But see, basically, this is all I'm taking. That's all I'm taking. When I get to Louisville, the hotel's got a shuttle. The shuttle will take me to the hotel. When you get to the hotel, you know, I'll go ahead and check in. You know, I'll get there kind of early, probably 10, 30 or so. But, you know, check in until 3. So what I'll do is go ahead and check in, let them know I'm there. Don't give my room away. And it's close enough I can walk over to the GIE and just kind of go ahead and go on in and get my badge and everything. And there's convenience stores around there. I can walk up to the convenience store and get a six-pack of beer and take it back to the hotel, put it in the refrigerator. There's a Cracker Barrel where we're going to meet Thursday morning at Cracker Barrel. And there's going to be, uh, there's a really good Mexican restaurant between the hotel and Cracker Barrel. That's where I believe I'm going to spend my Thursday night. Because Shane and Sarah's going to head back Thursday after the GA is over. But I'm going to spend myself stuffing, I'm going to spend my time stuffing myself with tacos and cerveza. It might cost a little money, but it's going to be so worth it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep. But anyway, guys, I just want to share this with you. This is my packing, getting ready to travel video. And thanks for watching another dumb, dumb video. And I got, oh, wait a minute. I got to, I got to clean the carburetor. Let's go out to the, let me, where's my keys? We need to go out there to the shop and get a carburetor. I got to. Let's go out here and get one of them Kohler carburetors. They're easy. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to clean a carburetor in this video. <laughs> well, all right, boys and girls, I love you to death, man. I can't wait to see Sarah and Shane. I about called them Shara and Sane and in the Polands. We're going to get to see B Dog and Hurricane Harvey. And, uh, Boneyard's going to be there. I can't wait to see Boneyard. Hopefully, Lawnmower Detective is going to get to go. And man, I'm just gonna. Yeah, I've been stuck in this house in this garage for two years. I ain't been out of the house. You can tell. You can tell. I got. I got stuff packed, brother. Y'all be good, man. Love y'all. And man, we will. I'm not gonna film anymore. I didn't film nothing today. I'm not gonna film anything Tuesday. I got several videos that I made like a week to two weeks ago that I'm still putting out. That's gonna cover me through this week, and then. Come next Saturday through Monday, I'm going to be start filming more videos, man. Love you guys. Love me. Love each other. Smile on your brother. And man, we will make a bunch of videos at the GIE. God, I can't wait. Y'all be good. And yeah, we will see y'all later, man. Love y'all. Love y'all. See y'all at the GIE. Go to Louisville. Meet y'all at the bad boy uh, booth. See y'all. <laughs>